Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I have a daytime makeup look for you. This is essentially what I wore every day when I was traveling in Korea. So the makeup, it's designed to be quick and easy, just for those days where you really wanna get out the door. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and let's start. We're starting with the base and I found that cushion foundations tend to be the speediest foundation because you don't have to dispense product or search for a clean brush. It's all sort of housed in that little compact. I'm testing a bunch of cushion products right now, a lot of them from Korea, but my favorite so far is actually the YSL cushion. It has amazing coverage. I only have to press the puff into the sponge once and that's enough to cover my entire face. Slightly dewy finish, it has a very smoothing effect on pores, which I love, and it takes a minute or two to apply. Big thumbs up. Here is a throwback. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I know this is not trendy anymore on YouTube, but I still really like it because it is very long wearing and it doesn't rub off as much where my glasses sit on the bridge of my nose. So applying that under the eyes and also on the brow bone to conceal any veins and purple hues so that the eye area looks really clean and fresh. Take your favorite powder to set the areas that we've concealed, you know, make sure nothing shifts and creases. You guys, you know the deal. I also tend to set the T-zone. You can set the entire face. I think it's a matter of personal preference. I have been testing the RCMA No Color Powder, but dare I say, I don't think that I like it as much as my good old Rouge Bunny Rouge. This stuff is like unicorn dust. Going for a soft, fluffy brow today, I'm using a fine tipped brow pencil just to fill in any of my big ball patches. And can we just take a round of applause for me? <laughs> I aim to create a soft brow and actually gave myself a soft brow. Most days I get totally carried away and as I back away from the mirror, I realize that I have these massive Cara Delevingne arches. Does anyone else do this? I feel like I can't be the only one. Anyway, I also bought a new Surat brow pomade. Ah, that new product feeling. I'm brushing my hair straight up because fluffy, textured, love it. I don't know why I frown for this step. I must aid somehow in the application. <laughs> Onto the eyes, and technically this is a one and done eye look. I bought this eyeshadow in Korea. It's the Moonshot Jelly Eyeshadow. I do have, by the way, a Korean makeup haul coming up. It is actually embarrassing how much makeup I bought. Adrian laughed at me. Um, so yeah, get excited about that. Anyway, the jelly eyeshadows are insanely long wearing. You could wear these swimming, but they're also really easy to blend. And you know, long wearing, easy to blend, those two don't often go hand in hand. Um, if you don't have access to Moonshot or you want something more widely available, you could easily substitute a MAC Groundwork paint pot for this step. I mostly use my fingers, to be honest, just roughly smoosh the product on the lid and in the crease and a bit on the lower lash line. Um, I do buff the edges a little bit at the end uh, with a brush and boom, your eyeshadow is done. The Surat Eyelash Curler, okay? Everyone's been talking about this. YouTube made me buy this. And can I just say, I don't like it at all. It keeps wanting to pinch me. The shape I think is much flatter than the Shoe Amira one and clearly <laughs> not well suited for my eye shape. Ah, you win some, you lose some. Day or night, I always, always want a dramatic mascara. This one is nice, I just opened it up. It's the Sephora Outrageous Volume. So you know I love the Outrageous Curl, this is the Outrageous Volume. I'm giving you a little bit of a before and after here. Very black, uh, quite volumizing indeed. I like it. I took this Rimmel palette to Korea because the compact is very slim and it's travel friendly. All three of these pans are surprisingly pigmented. You do not need to work hard to get a very good payoff. So the bronzer is quite neutral and I use it as a bronzer, somewhere between a bronzing and contour placement to give the face just a little bit of shape. I do like to connect my bronzer to the edges of my eyeshadow too. I don't know, I just picked this up, this placement up somewhere and I really like how it looks. The blush is peachy and it has some golden luminosity. It's kind of a similar family to the NARS Orgasm, but the luminosity is softer in the Rimmel, which I kind of prefer. TBH. The highlight is sort of a golden champagne shade and it packs a punch. You all know how I love my beaming cheekbone. There's no glitter in this formula though, it's just a shine and we're hitting all the high points. Cheekbone, nose, upper lip, a little bit all over. <laughs> if I have just an extra minute in the morning, I'll often use a face palette like this to make the eyes just a touch more interesting. So dust a little bit of that blush around the edges of the eyeshadow shading introduces a little bit of a peachier hue. 
Also, you can add the bronzer to the outer socket to deepen the contours of the eyes, which is particularly nice if you have a hooded eyelid or a heavy eyelid like me. And of course, highlight the tear duct, add a little to the center of the lid while you're there. If I've accidentally given myself a smoky eye, this kind of brightens it up a little. So that's the eyes and the face done. Now you could pair this with any lip color you please, right? You could do a, a vamp, a grayish, a nude, a red. This is where I tend to switch it up. So today I'm using this fun little contraption. It's a split lipstick and you're meant to position the darker shade on the innermost portion of the lips and then swipe, yeah? So you'll get that gradient lip effect that is so popular in Korea right now. I didn't think, if I'm honest, that I would love this because usually I'm all about that defined lip line and maybe a bit of overlining, but I actually adore it. It's very youthful, I think, and fresh. So that's the final look. And let's be real, this is nothing groundbreaking, uh, but I can do it in about 10, 15 minutes and I feel nice and put together. Let me know what kind of tutorial you would like to see next uh, in the comment section. I, it's the beginning of the year, I feel a little bit lost. Uh, give me some direction. Also, come say hello on Instagram. I have a lot of pictures from South Korea there. I'm gonna leave you with some footage of Karima Can't Do Hair. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye. We haven't talked in months, but that's all right. Was wondering if you wanted to go for a drive. I just need some fresh air.